Greetings, this is Edward Ojongo. This is a review of the Python command line interface. Python is an open source programming language that comes with a command line shell. It is cross-platform for Linux, Windows, Mac OS, pardon, OS 6 systems. It can be compiled from the source at GitHub. It can be installed from downloaded binaries. I installed version 3.12.4 from the Fedora 40 repos. So let's begin. So here I am on the command line. All I need to do is type Python. I'm on Linux. You see it will show the Python version. And then I can really just start typing something like hello world. Press enter and then I'll print my output. You see I can also type help copyright credits uh, license for more information for example if I don't know what I'm doing I simply just type help and then it will tell me I can type help for the interactive help and I can quit here so that's what I want to do I'll press Q to quit so since this is about Python I do have a learning Python course available at jungleshop.com slash learning Python Python. You can get 20% uh, off until the end of 2024 by using the promo code school. Uh, where we left off uh, last time was we did booleans. So we're going to go to the next one which is strings. I can click here at the bottom but I can also use this menu and go down and click on strings. So this this is going to be today's lesson. We're going to type all this stuff, or well, some of it, in the uh, Python command line interface. So we you can do, if, if you want to change it to there's some functions built in for strings like uppercase, lowercase, if you want to strip beginning uh, and ending trailing white space, you can replace, you can split, you can concatenate, and you can use else strings. You can all do all this, uh, including using escape characters. There's an example here. You can do this in the built-in IDE, but I, for this particular one, I'm going to use the uh, command line interface. So let's continue. I forgot to record this part. So the first thing we'll do is strings. Hello world. That's double quoted string. Of course, I need to run Python. I'm gonna go much faster here because I forgot to record everything I was doing. So I will string two. This time I'll use single quotes. And I'll print. I can do you can print multiple items like that. Hello world, hello world. Next I will it's easy. Double quotes with a single quote inside. E Johnny. Third string will be this time I'll use single quotes because strings must always be quoted, double quotes inside the single quotes. We have to put the if sign here and you can print again multiple. Yes, you can print multiple. Next, we're going to do the multi-line string. If that's used three quotes, this is a double quoted multiple line string spanning three rows. And to end it, you also put the three quotes there. And I can simply print. This is a double quoted 
multiple line strings and integrals. Next, we're going to do slicing. So what is slicing? Slicing, you simply take part of the string. You want to keep, so I want to start at position 5, uh, in between position 5 and position, sorry, position 2 and 5. So, uh, here we have a low road. So, what's in between 2 and 5? It's, this is 3, 4, and 5. That's what it prints out. Next, we're going to concatenate strings.
20% off using the promo code SCHOOL UNTIL THE END OF 2024 and if you want to learn more about the Python command line environment you go to this URL which I'll put in the description and more importantly it's also I created a, an article for you it's on jabo.com slash python hyphen strings hyphen using hyphen command hyphen line hyphen environment and it's all here the code snippets are here you click this you see all the code snippets are here some screenshots for you in the video this video that you're watching and the online learning course all the links are here python command line you see it goes to the docs uh, dot python dot org three using command line html it's all there thank you